Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm here with another video. Thanks, guys, for peeping in. <laughs> and, guys, if you want to be a Lola, too, and peep in my window, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And, guys, make sure you're following me on my social medias, which is Instagram, Miss Serenity Smith. Also, guys, make sure you follow me in the chatterbox. And the chat box, the link is in the description bar as a paid channel membership. It, you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. And it is $1.99. Anyway, so I'm here with Miss Phoebe. <laughs> um, you guys probably haven't seen her in a while. She's still wearing the same thing. I put on her hat. <laughs> I know for some people that's further up north, you guys are starting to get cold and all that well we're down here in good old florida and it is still 80 degrees it's like 50 in the morning and still 80 something degrees in the afternoon so we're still pretty warm however sometimes it's pretty cool in the house um you know uh, you know it's it's anyway with uh you know painting and stuff like that you gotta you know watch your temperatures and all that stuff so it's it's crazy but i haven't really had a chance to really just sit down and just hold my babies and really just enjoy them or anything i was starting to i was doing pretty good at first i was like oh i can change out a baby every day or something at least before i get started but man once i started rooting it was like okay i don't have time for this so you know it's it it is a lot like I you know the more you dive into stuff and doing it for yourself it's a lot easier to be on the outside looking in and you be talking all this smack and oh these artists should be doing this and they should be doing that and the reason why this is fresh on my brain because it's it, lately this is all everybody's been talking about but the more you get into the stuff the more you get to see like I don't see how the artists that started out being doll collectors get into look at this <laughs> get into doing this and you know painting and never get to enjoy being a collector i don't want to do that i i just don't and you know at one point I, i'm not gonna lie i thought about just leaving my job and just you know pursuing you know this full time you know painting full time and stuff but i i couldn't i i, I don't think i could survive like that like i need that downtime i need that time to be able to have a hobby um the other hobby that i enjoy doing which is writing i definitely wouldn't have time to do that because i need my hands for that and if i'm painting constantly so yeah i just like yeah better keep it how it is you know paint some and still you know maintain my full-time work um but I surely miss her. I was sitting here just, you know, just admiring her little paint and her silicone and how it just wrinkles all up real nice and cute. I mean, <laughs> I hope even when you squishy her little nose, I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me, let me stand up. Let me see if you guys can see. Like, wait, let me turn the light this way. Let's see if you guys can see. But even when I squishy her little nose, Wait, wait. I don't know if you guys can see it. Anyway, when I squishy her little nose, she gets a wrinkle. But I tell y'all what, and I tell you guys this all the time, sculpting is major with these babies. And the feel of the silicone is major with silicone babies. Like, I just love how she cuddles up, you know, to me and stuff. And... I like the weight. I do. I love. I love the way silicone feels. Um, even you know all the little babies that I've been working on, they all feel differently. But you really, you rarely can go wrong with the feel of silicone. I don't like the rubbery feel. There are some people that silicone feels very rubbery, and then there is a particular one that I felt. I can't even remember the 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 person name, so I'm glad because I won't even slip and say it. But the silicone, I felt it at the doll show. When I picked up the leg, the, the whole leg felt like, one leg felt like a whole body to me. It was just so heavy. I don't know what 
what's the difference but it was just so heavy like bloop you know and like you pick up the baby and it just feels like like you're picking up a brick it doesn't feel as fluid um i don't like that but for the most part you know some babies they can be a little bit firmer than others but it still feels they usually feel pretty good in your arms and especially like one thing when the babies are poor in one piece and their head the weight of their head and then when they head just like falls back and you know wobbles that just gives you so much <laughs> and around and around we go uh round and around we go say round and round we go. <laughs> it gives you so much like feel like you know like a real baby right see the weeby <laughs> so i really love the way that she feels um i love i love the silicone but i i won't lie and i don't know like i said i'll be real with y'all like i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys i don't know if it's got to do with brokenness or what but and i know i normally go back to um reborns when um sorry i had to look at the one i'm nosy um I normally go back to my reborns when I am a little low on doll funds, but this time I think it's a little bit more than that because I've actually been painting more reborns and I've been really enjoying experimenting with them. And I feel more confident experimenting with color and different techniques with the reborns than I do silicone because it's less expensive. If I mess up a kit, at best, I've only screwed up $130, you know what I mean? at the most what 180 okay that's a lot but versus 600 to 2000 3000 yeah no that's uh and that's just kit we ain't even getting into the paints and all that so so yeah it's a you know i feel a lot more confident trying stuff and i've been trying a lot of different stuff with my reborns and so you know, as far as little details like baby acne and scratches and the little milk bumps and, you know, just different stuff. I did the drool and the milk in the mouth and, you know, just all kinds of little stuff. I'm, I'm just really, like, enjoying it. Different coloring. Like, I'm looking now, looking across the room as I talk. I'm looking across the room and I'm looking at um, Micah and his, the coloring of the bottom of his feet is so, so on point in person. Like, and his skin tone is so different from some of the other skin tones that I've done before in the past that it just, so it's, you know, and it just takes a little tweaking of this color and that color and mix that and you get this and, and it's just, it's just so much fun. And so I've been really enjoying that part of the reborn. So, you know, I'm like next year, I think I'm just going to go all in and focus on, on that. And if I can get to where I could root ahead in two weeks... Eh, I may be able to say, okay, you know, have some rooted babies for sale. But otherwise, most point, I'm really going to probably be doing painted baby services. And then some with the possibility of rooting because of the fact that I have people that I um, commission for rooting. Or is that the way to say it? Oh, I, I I have I asked to root for me that I paid them to root for me and but they also be busy and sometimes I can't get them you know get in to to do for them to do the head so you know time frame wise you know you got these people on here talking about people taking forever with their babies you know it's like I don't know I don't know sis. you know they be like well we you know black people need half we need hair. I made us need edges. I understand that, sis. Calm down. I understand that. But y'all also want to be running to the forums talking about she took 20 weeks on my baby. And then, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't root, sis. And if you be like, well, I'll wait. Yeah, until to week 12 hit. Then you like, dang, you ain't got my baby rooted yet? Uh, you said you'll wait. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, damned if you do and damned if you don't type thing. So that's where I'm at with that. That's my only rough spot about the uh, the vinyl. Um, the other thing that I really, really love about the silicone is, um, is 
you know, there's no baking. I love that. I love that. Um, but, you know, so we'll see how next year goes. But I am really, really just taking a moment while I wait to my cake ice and cool and enjoying this little girl. Like, she is so, she feels so good. I was like, oh my goodness. So, I'm going to take her head off. But, um, and I'm working on my rooting and trying to, you know, make sure I learn, get that, get better at that as well. And just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. But this, this hobby just, they have so many benefits to it. Like, I enjoy the painting. I enjoy interacting with my customers. Oh my God. My customers will tell you guys, I, I probably get on their nerves during the process because I'm like, Okay, it'd be two o'clock in the morning. You getting a a, boop, boop, a message? You better turn your messenger off, cause I'd be like, okay, I'm up painting. I'm doing a layer, and it'd be like, I don't know. I almost feel like I'm clocking in. Am I clocking in? I wish y'all could see how she looks. Wait. Oh. Am I clocking in? I'd be like, am I? It's like I'm clocking in, cause I'm telling you every time I'm paint, I start painting on your baby almost. So wait, wait, wait. Can y'all see her? She looks so good. Hey, <laughs> she's sweet. Y'all can't tell me this ain't real. This is real love right here. It's like, and you know, every family have their their things and stuff or whatever. But I love, 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 love my babies. I had some beautiful real kids. I ain't gonna lie. They went through some funny looking stages. You know, they, you know, one. No offense. Because I do have a, a, a niece that is actually Down Syndrome. But one of my, my daughters actually looked a bit Down Syndrome for a minute. Because of the spacing between her eyes and stuff. But cute as a button. Both my niece and her. Cute as a button. So when I say that, it's not to offend anybody. Um, but these are my children and I could talk about them. But you better not do it. <laughs> Um, they just had their phases where they were not that cute. You know what I mean? Rather it was when they were first born or, you know, before, like, my first born, she was not that cute to me. Everybody was coming to the hospital and oh, she's so pretty, she's beautiful. But by the time that thing hit home, you talking about a pretty baby, ain't had a wrinkle, she never peeled, gorgeous hair, gorgeous eyes, gorgeous skin, fat little plump little baby. Oh my gosh, she was gorgeous. And then my second daughter, oh my gosh, she was amazing. That baby was born beautiful. But she was the one that went through the little funny looking face with the little, she kind of, you know, not not the part about the Down syndrome, but she was just, she just kind of had a little funny looking face. And then um, Tabitha, y'all, you know, get this, see Tabitha from time to time on the screen. Um, Tabitha was, is my third baby and she was, when she was born, I was like, who the hell had you? Where you come from? She had this little button nose and she was just, I don't know. And then her baby pictures, I'm so mad. I think my mama burned them. God forgive me, don't judge me. But I'm telling you, the thing looked like a wet rat. She was just not cute. Just for a second. And then she got real pretty so babies go through all these phases and my son i always thought because he was on the board and i said that's my only son i always thought he was just gorgeous all the time but then when i got just recently i was looking through his pictures i'm like oh my god my mom used to call him elma fudge or something like that and i never understood why she, you know she said that i just thought it was a terms of endearment but she told me she said oh yeah he was funny looking his head was so big he looked like he was gonna flip over so he kind of Gave me that limb vibe, um, vibe. But my son is gorgeous now, honey, child. Listen, honey. Them churn ain't ready for that boy. He is gorgeous. He is, he looks so much like my father. But then when I did that app, the face app that everybody been doing, and I aged him, oh, my God, he turned into his father. I was like, wait a minute. So he really do look like his daddy. Child, thank God I ain't have to go to Mario on that one because he sure look like his daddy. That's that show that that show daddy. So anyway, that's what y'all can do. Y'all start aging these kids and on them apps and see if that's really the churn daddy. But anyway, how did I get onto this? But yeah, so they all, you know, 
go through their little phases. Um, you know, Gabby had her little moment and you know, it's just but we love them because they're babies, they're innocent, they're beautiful. It's something special about a child. Um, beautiful no matter what. You know what I mean? We can't all be cute. But, you know what I mean? They still are beautiful loving beings. But this hobby gives you that feeling. And what oh I know I was going at child line on went over 15 minutes. I tried to I, I said my videos done got to be so it's so long, child. Y'all might have to be turn in like this a sitcom 30 minutes honey but um she is a mix so she actually looked like my second daughter but her skin tone is like my third daughter when she was 10 months old so i kind of have both of them in mind when i painted her and so that's so i got two babies in one and so i just really really feel like she just, this is a baby that will always be with me. And it just, it's, it amazes me how it pulls your heartstring. Like, you get this feeling. I just don't know how to explain it. And I just hate that when people come and see us with these dolls that they just freak out or think that we're crazy or something like that. You know, it's art on one level to, to know that somebody took this from a ball of clay and just came up with something great and that's why i say listen baby it don't matter if it's claire teller if it's you know melissa mccrory it don't matter who it is from what level of their sculpting skills their painting skills i'm starting to appreciate everybody work because i'm like how do you do that because when you try to do it yourself you start to really appreciate what these people actually do like you like Mm -mm. Girl, because baby, when I get some clay in my hands, y'all finna be mad with me. But, um, yeah, so it's it's just an amazing thing. And just, you know, like just holding her right here on my chest like this just feels like I got a real baby. Like you can't tell me no different. And I and I, and I I love that even with my reborns because that's why I weight them heavy. I weight them heavy because I like to feel the weight on me. And I think Nichelle, she's a, she's a collector on Facebook. She doesn't do YouTube. But she is the one that pointed that out to me. And I said, when she said that, she says the weight of them. And I said, that's what it is. Because I couldn't figure out. I'm like, why do we want to hold them? And I said, I'm going to take this little girl head off, didn't I? And, I, I? and it's just, it's the weight of them. You know, you, when, you, when you cradle these babies in your arms and stuff. And just, oh my God. Now, I don't really like to do the whole skin to skin thing. I know... Cause see, I don't know when I was having my babies, we went, there was, was no big to do about no skin to skin. I don't like to do it because I feel like the oils is going to get on the paint. And so I do still realize they are dolls. So she's on my shirt, not on my chest. I don't really like to do that, but it does feel realistic when, you know, cause she was just on it for a little bit just then. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's the weight that gets you. So anyway, guys, um, I did this video. I'm going to um, upload soon, um, Baby Jules. You guys will get to see her um, soon. But I, I think this is a good weekend video um, for you guys to just watch. And just, I haven't talked to you guys in a long time and just wanted to catch up. And I'm just, you know, I'm taking my day off, so to speak. Although I've been working, I will be packing up, um... She's starting to warm up to me. Um, I will be packing up a baby to go home. And I will be doing some painting today. But for the most part, this will be a family day. I need a day to um, unwind and spend time with Gabby. And so, you know, we do our little baking and cooking and stuff that we need to do. And pick up our grocery and clean the house and stuff like that, you know. And I think that's part of the part that um, a lot of collectors don't really understand or want to give um room for for the artists that they do need a day to actually do their regular lively stuff um for me i work almost seven days a week i you know i i'm always constantly doing something rather it's you know my youtube my live streams with the chatterbox um painting rooting 
um, my full-time job. When I'm home, I work from home, my full-time job, you know, I'm doing that. That gets very intense sometimes. Um, and then, you know, I have to go in the office some days and then I'm homeschooling Gabby, which is very hands-on this year. And, you know, so it's just, you know, you got to allow room that, you know, sometimes people probably be like, oh, she's on social media. She could be doing something to my dolls. And that's why I don't take a lot of customs, too, because I don't need nobody dictating my hours because I get a break, too. So, you know, for the hours that I do putting in, trust me, and I don't hold people babies for eternity. So um, I still maintain my social media accounts and stuff because y'all got to be seeing me. <laughs> Cause y'all gotta be seeing me. So yeah. So thank you to all the sculptors. Thank you to all the artists. Even though I haven't been able to really collect from other artists lately, I still appreciate it. I still love seeing their interpretations of different sculpts and kits and stuff. And it's just it's it's all good. All good. All good. All good. All right. So let's go. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let all your doll friends know that this is a channel to subscribe to. <laughs> and don't forget to join that chatterbox. And maybe soon we should do a live stream on the gym pop. Because you know, I love y'all. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Y'all have a fabulous weekend hunting because I'm already into mine. I'm already going to start a cooking, baking cakes. Girl, I'm up in here, baby. Child, I'm practicing for that wifey role, honey. Somebody finna wife this. Then I'm gonna be buying me another doll. No, I'm just playing. Love y'all. Bye. Tell them bye, Phoebe. Phoebe like, child, boo.